Hello everybody, I am Jedi Jack Penguin, and today I am bringing you another haul video. So today I have this really cool bin of free Legos that I got from one of my favorite teachers from back in high school who remembered that I am a huge Lego fan and brought over a huge bin of Lego stuff to look at. Of course this is not everything, this is just some of the highlights that I've already like gone through when looking through the bin. We'll get into the bin in a little bit, but otherwise we might as well start right here with the minifigures and everything, which I'm just going to freehand this since it's a lot easier for me to do that right here. So taking a look, here are some of the minifigure parts that I dug out of here. You know, the f only funny thing that I just found in here was that there was a Minecraft Steve minifigure in there. Since pretty much that was like the only like newer related like product that was like in here. I don't really know what set that goes to. But I know of course it's a Minecraft set and it's probably one of the cheaper small ones or something. But that was like really weird just to find that within here. But otherwise... Looking right here, you know I'm a huge Harry Potter fan. We got some really cool Harry Potter stuff right here. Of course, the main attraction, at least for me, is Fluffy the Fur... Fluffy the three-headed dog right here, which I am so really happy to finally own this character within my collection. At first, when I found this within the bin, it was missing two of the heads, but then I later on found the other two heads within the bin. But this is a really cool character, and I think the rest of the set might be in here, you know, since I do have the Harry, Ron, and Hermione minifigures from the set, but some of them are missing their hairpiece, and of course they're missing their capes right there, but... Really happy to finally own this character. Might do a review if I can put the full set together since I do own multiple versions of Harry, Ron, and Hermione from their 2001 versions and I might be able to just piece together the set with my own pieces and whatnot but really cool and I really love how their mouths open and everything that's really amazing but that was probably one of the big highlights from this particular bin. I'm just going to move him out of the way. And then of course we have Dumbledore right there, the original 2001 version, wielding his classic axe right there, which I thought that was a really cool piece to get. That is a real Lego piece, something like Fabulandish or something like that, or like the Mickey Mouse sort of stuff that they did back in the day. We also do get an extra one of those Dumbledore legs. I don't know if there were two sets with him inside it within this particular bin, but I know that definitely this is probably from the Hagrid's Hut set, though I don't have the actual topper to the Hagrid's Hut set. That was the two only Harry Potter sets that I really saw in here, and also we do have Harry wielding that flute right there, which is that stick piece with the print on it. Really cool to get that. We have Obi-Wan's head, since we do have the 2002 Jedi Starfighter set, set number 7143. Two other sets, you know, I will show the set numbers later on, since I do have a little bit of a cheat sheet going on over here. And also, don't mind all the other stuff in the background. I have a lot of mess going on, which you'll see in the vlogs. But otherwise, we do have some other stuff going on right here. Like, we have some of that Alpha Team. We also have, like, some Adventurers stuff, which is pretty cool to get. You know, a lot of really cool pieces, including, like, those legs are pretty nice. We also have um, uh, Obi-Wan's droid right there that goes along with his head. Haven't been able to find his body, but I probably own that within my collection. We also do have some like other like types of animal like characters within here. We also do have some life in Mars, life on Mars stuff right there, eh, which I will go over in a little bit with the stuff that's back there. But otherwise we do get this pterodactyl right there, pretty cool, P pterodactyl. We also get this swordsfish right here, which is pretty cool. In black we get a regular dark gray shark, which this is the older type of dark gray. We also do get this other type of dinosaur. I forgot what it's called, but, you know, really cool to get this. You know, I think that it does come within this adventurer set, which I also have a base plate for, which is all the way over there. If I just zoom in, it's the big one, which is a duplicate to the one that's all the way up here, which is hiding over there in this big, messy room of mine. But otherwise, that was just a quick, 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 quick zoom in. You'll see more of that later on and everything, but... We also do get this black dragon right here, which is really cool to get another one of these. You know, I really like these older types of, like, big characters that LEGO did. You know, I wish that they still did them. And also, that does have a nice little mouth that opens. And also, the tail on both of these guys move, which is also pretty cool to see as well. Otherwise, I did pile up some of the accessories over here as well as some of the other minifigure parts. We have a bunch of different heads and hat pieces. We also get that green cape. Don't really know what that goes to. Dumbledore has a purple cape, which I think is pretty cool that I got some of that. 
We have some Zap in here, which is pretty nuts to think that we have some Zap. I don't really know what set it is, but you know, we have a bunch of different Zap pieces. Just wanted to show off that I got some of that. This is like one of the complete sets that I actually built like when I first like got it, which is set number 6837, which I believe is a space insectoid set. I don't really know if I'm saying that right. We have some other types of pirate stuff right here, which is pretty cool, which, you know, I haven't finished building that exactly, but I know I have a lot of the pieces to a lot of these sets. We have this set, which is one of the sets that I got like mostly complete that I was working on the other day, which, you know, the video that I'm recording right now will be coming out the day that I'm recording it, which that'll be what I mean by that. And then we also have that being set number 6915, which is pretty cool. And also, I don't think the minifigures to that are around, but, you know, this is just really cool to see, like, all the different types of, like, printing that they did back in the day. I don't know if I'm going to do a video on that. Might do a video on it. I don't really know. But otherwise, most of that stuff is from, like, the 1990s right there. And then, you know, just to age this particular collection that I found within this haul, I probably age it between 1993 and 2002. Otherwise, we have some more adventurers stuff right here, you know, I was trying to put that together, might not be able to since I am missing that longer back piece to this particular plane, but most of that I think I own for this particular set. Did knock down that dragon, put him in the bat put them in the bin. Otherwise, we also have this really cool boat right here, which include these pretty like heavy weighted brick pieces that are in this black color inside it. You know, I'm just going to put us into the instructions just so then we can look at that. You know, I was talking about these pieces right here. These are pretty cool to get. We get two of those within the set. You know, at first I only had one of them and then I was able to find the other one. So probably, you know, that's really cool that they did that, you know, the one thing that I'm most interested to see is if this floats. If I do complete this set, I will do a review on it and I will see if it floats. If it floats, it floats. If it doesn't float, it doesn't float. But, you know, pretty cool that I got that within my collection now. That'll be something fun to mess around with. Otherwise, we also do have this pirate boat that I was starting to work on. You know, I just stopped. That was one of the first things that I really, like, started working on. I do have some of the, like sail pieces right there but I am missing that big one right there some of the minifigures might not be there I don't really know but you know I think that most of the boat should be there for the most part and the final thing that's really on this table is that I do have this little pump thing right here which this is from a 2001 life on Mars set which I did bring that up on brick set on my phone since I didn't really know what this is I did ask people on Instagram and then they got back to me which is this set really cool that I got this maybe within my collection I might see if I can put that together after recording this video I don't really know I do have a lot of stuff that I want to get to over the course of today but otherwise that's pretty cool just to see that particular set within my collection maybe otherwise I did get a bunch of instruction manuals which is like a bonus when it comes to like free Lego bins that if you find the instructions that's really cool you know I'm just gonna go through these real quickly just in case you were interested we do have a lot of like space related stuff within this particular like haul I guess that's one of the bonuses right there we also do have this Lego Ninja set right here of course the minifigures within this are probably not really included you know I did find like the classic mask but I can't find the heads to those we have this one alpha team set like I mentioned before with those minifigures only have their heads though for some reason you know I think that there is more to this collection it's just that I'm not gonna get it quite yet and then we have some more stuff we have the ice planet stuff that's I think that's space but or I don't really know we have this big adventure set which I mentioned before with this giant base plate art. I actually don't know if I mentioned that before or not, but we'll get to that in a little bit. You know, that's really cool, really cool to see that. We have some bigger space stuff right here, which is very interesting. You know, a lot of the insectoids related stuff going on right here, and a lot of like Aqua Raiders stuff as we move forward right here. We have some more space pretty cool you know a lot of instructions which is very nice to see you know this set I think I might have fully complete since I do have this right here that's holding all of those things but you know I am missing the stickers for this which is very weird and also I do have this big piece right here and a lot of these other green pieces I do own as well which is pretty cool we have some more of this sort of underwatery stuff going on right here which another really cool thing about these particular sets which you know you'll see within the 
Next instructions is that they do have like two set numbers attached since there were like two different versions. One that was like more exclusive, I guess, with like a different type of like base plate or something. And then one that was just the normal set, which, you know, that's pretty cool to see that they did that back in the day. And we have a smaller like poly bag or small box type set going on right there. We have another one of these underwater related sets you know a lot of these I think that I might be able to complete you know also I think that I might have thrown out that suction cup piece right there by accident I don't really know but we'll have to see if I can find it again we have this right here which I think I might have mostly complete right there with the magnets so that's another really cool thing that I've seen within this haul I do got a lot of those like magnet type pieces which is pretty cool we have this set right here and then we have some other just miscellaneous stuff going on right here I gotta unfold this so then you can see the main picture we have this right here which is like an extreme something or other we also have another one right here which I actually think that I might have most of these complete you know since I have been going through this bin for the past three days and then we have another life on Mars related set right there other than the big one with the pump and then we have a small little racer set right here, which, you know, that I think might be fully complete as well, other than that ramp piece. I don't know if that actually exists within this set, but, you know, I think I have most of the pieces to that right there. And then, of course, we do have, like, some posters and magazines and stuff, like the older shop catalogs that they included within, like, the older Lego sets. You know, that's really cool to see some of these. You know, I might do some videos on these looking back at some of these older sets, like, in a 2020 point of view someone who hasn't like collected them like as the age that they were released and everything if you get what I mean by that but otherwise that's really cool and all for that you know I also do have a Lego Island sort of thing going on right there which is pretty cool to see that as another really cool reference otherwise that's pretty much all for this table I do have like this huge list of the sets and stuff you know I'm just gonna take us a quick look at that if you're interested in that. I did find a total of 29 sets, not 28 right there within this particular set. There are, of course, more probably mixed in here, but I don't really know what they are. Like that being the Snap set as well as whatever the Minecraft minifigure goes to and all of that other stuff. But here's just a quick look at some of that. And then the second page is all space right here. We have the Ice Planet stuff, the Explorians, the Ultron, the UFO, we have the Insectoids, we have the Life on Mars right there which is incomplete, and then we have all of these Aqua Zone sets right there that I showed towards the end of this, but otherwise that's all for my cheat sheet right there. I'm just going to turn my phone off so then it doesn't die, and we're going to move on over to the other stuff that I got right here. So I did sort out a lot of this by parts right here and I did take off my Crocs. But otherwise, here's a quick look at the mess of my room as well. I do have that Ninjago set that I gotta put back together as the mech since I liked that one more. We have some stuff that I gotta go through over there. Might sell some of those Bionicle things since I don't, since I don't really care about them. Some more older Lego stuff that I gotta go through. A lot of other stuff going on right there, but otherwise we'll get right back to this. We do have a lot of these sort of like darker, sort of lighter purple colored pieces right here that mainly go with the Life on Mars theme, which is pretty cool. We also do have this piece right here, which at first I never really knew what this was, you know, but I did get these within a previous haul. These are from LEGO Racers, which goes with that LEGO Racers set, which is pretty cool. Otherwise, I did put a lot of the just plain plate pieces on here, you know, all these various colors. I do have some snap going on over there, you know, and then I do have these bigger types of brick pieces, which are pretty cool. And like I mentioned before... If I dig down deep right here, we have this curved one right here, which I believe goes with those dinosaur characters that we got within that Adventurers set, which I didn't mention, or even put on that cheat sheet right there. But, you know, pretty cool. You'll know what I'm talking about when I eventually do make a post about it on Instagram or something. But otherwise, that moves on to the big bin. Well, actually, we have one last thing, which is this base plate, which I might have mentioned before, or I did not. I don't really remember, but... Otherwise, this is really, really cool to get, and that goes with that, like, Adventurer's Spink set that I showed off the instructions for before. That's really cool to get, really cool to have that. Otherwise, moving on from that, we do have the big bin, like I mentioned before. The big bin also comes with the lid, which I'm using for that storage right there, but otherwise, we have 
a lot of pieces in here and also actually that isn't the lid the lid to it is behind me with more pieces I totally forgot about that which we'll get to that in a little bit you know here's just an overall glance at how filled this thing is you know still right there you know there is a crack on the bottom of this which is another thing that is a little annoying but you know it's it's fine you know I'm gonna try and go through this entire bin unlike a lot of the other bins that I've gotten in the past my plan is to just keep working on this until it is completely empty you know and then I'm gonna keep going forward with like all of the other bins since I do have quite a couple that I still have to go through you know my plan is to try and eliminate as much of the extra Lego stuff that I have as possible just so then I can get back to more of like a floor space within this particular room my plan is to eventually probably get another table just for the middle so then you know I am running out of space everywhere you know I have a lot of like take apart plans and to re put together and everything like that set over there but otherwise in a big backlog that I still gotta go through with more 2020 sets on the way every day but yeah that's pretty much all that I have to say for this you know let's just take a little dig in here Oh, and also this sort of bionicle type thing is in here, you know, it's built a little bit weird since, you know, I did mess around with it, my younger brother did actually, which was pretty funny, but otherwise that's all for that little bit, and that goes back in the bin, I gotta see what that really is, if you know what it is, tell me in the comment section below, but otherwise I do have a lot of interesting stuff going on over here, I did make this, which was pretty funny with all of these different types of of pieces going on pretty cool to get all of these don't know what it goes to but it's probably something space related all of that but otherwise we do have some of these more mountainy types of pieces these rocky pieces we get these inside dark gray we have two smaller ones in white which go to that racer set from before we have all of these different types of green pieces like I mentioned before that go within that one aqua raiders set I believe or whatever it is we have that Sphinx stuff. We have a lot of printed tile pieces, a lot of printed pieces. This goes to the Hagrid's Hut that I mentioned before. We have this, which is also pretty cool to see printed this particular thing going on over here. I'm going to zoom in so then you can see that a little bit better. We do have this, which goes to the Sphinx set as well. If I can zoom in and see if it gets any better, that's pretty cool. We also have a lot of different things going on over here. Some more like Harry Potter stuff. You know, a lot of really cool printed pieces and a lot of these darker red pieces that go to the Obi-Wan Starfighter right there. You know, there's just a lot to look at when it comes to here. This is one of these sail pieces that goes to that pirate ship from before. You know, it is a little bit like rumbled up and everything. I got to put it under something. But otherwise, it's really all that I have to say for right now is whole video. You know, there's a lot of really cool stuff within this particular bin. I do really love and enjoy going through these types of bins and everything. You know, it's just a pleasure and it's always fun to see like all the new stuff that I can get and all the old stuff that I can get, you know. But otherwise, that's really all that I have to say for this particular video. Remember to like and subscribe and hit that bell icon to know every time I upload a new video. So yeah, that's it for now and I will see you next time. Bye!